I solved the mystery of that painting. You yeah, did? I did easily How? in like in two minutes. You're dumb as hell. I'm not telling you. I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest. You should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve, <laughs> especially since I'm the one who told you about it in the first. Your place. dog. You're from Hufflepuff. Quit magic. You're garbage, kid. Hello. How's it going? How are you? I'm Houston. Back with another video. I got Yami here too. What's up, Yami? Yeah. I'm just gonna sit here all day so I can get pats on my baby head. What a cadaver! Hey, we're doing the thing. The the oh my god, a golden snitch. Wow, look at that. Woo! Wizard game time. Q Mungus. That's me. The greatest wizard in all the land. Red hair, hand me down robes. You must be a Weasley. There really is like so much to explore out here. And like, especially with the map, I mean, you can, it's just, it feels like it's like infinite, you know? Like, look at this. This is insane. You go all the way down here and then all the way up here. Here's my dude. Uh, humongous. I don't really want to go and do the main story, like, because you never know. I, I, I just don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but I'm totally fine with just running around the world north of the Forbidden Forest here and uh, getting in some fights with these dark wizards. Come here, mate. Like, look at those combos. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Come on. Look at that. Get stupefied, idiot. Combos are nice. Like you could see down there in the bottom right hand corner. I know my friend was just posting the other day about how he ha how he had a hundred combo. I think the highest that I've gotten is like 80. Big ass spider, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> so you can use a little bit of special magic. I don't have the killing curses yet. Oh my God. Okay. Damn. The special attacks make quick work of the bosses. I mean, you can just, like, combo the hell out of people. Like, my general combo is that I'll pull them in. I'll hit them with this, and then I'll shoot them with that, and then I can depulso them. So, bang. On the lighter level enemies, it kind of works. It, like, one-shots them. Oh, a troll. Oh, my God. Oh, what? No way. Okay. See? Nice. Yeah, you got shit on. First try, buddy. And I got your boogers. You can literally just throw an anvil at somebody's face. Come on, dude. I'll only parry you. Bring it on. Come on, what are you doing? Come here, actually. What are you doing, man? Come on. Why aren't you attacking me? Come on, get up. Get up, get up, get up. What are you doing, man? You're insane. You suck at this game. Put down your wand. Put it away. Get out of here. Come on, come on. What are you doing? British simulator. Hey, run the other way when I say my name is do. Boy, I'm a fucking goblin. Nobody likes us goblins. It's why they just sneak up behind us. They don't even want to fight us normally. Oh my god, a human being. Come here, mate. Yeah. Whoa, dude. Why are you transforming like that? What do you got? Huh? What do you got? What if, uh, Expelliarmus, and then I grab your axe and I throw it at your head? See, little things like that I just find so fun. Like, the little bit of flair that you can have by combining different spells. So, I don't work today. Again. Uh, but yesterday, I pulled a 15-hour shift. And I'm not saying that to brag or anything, because it kind of fucking sucked. Uh, there was, like, a closure on a really big exit in downtown Seattle. So the company that I work for, like, we're, we're putting in a new storm, storm basins and new storm pipe. So because it's on the exit, you have to close it. But it has to open by, I think it's like, it's like 4 or 5 a.m., so we started work at 7 a.m. yesterday, Sunday, and I got home at, I think, 10.30 or something like that. So, yeah, I was there for yeah 15 hours. Pretty uh, insane. I think that's the longest shift I've ever had. 
I've worked plenty of shifts that are close to that, like uh, 13, a uh, bunch of 12s. I've worked a lot of 12s. But yeah, that's that's something else, man. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it was just long. Like, it wasn't that exhausting, uh, which I'm thankful for. But I figured out that, like, the politics that I mentioned in the last video on the old job site I was at, I figured out that they actually want me on the site that I worked at yesterday full time. So I still have a job. That's that's good. A level three lock. Come on, man. Yeah, see, I don't have Alohomora yet. So I just need to do the story mission in order to get that, which kind of sucks because there are so many locked doors in this. And it's not just one type of lock either. There's level one, there's level two, and there's level three. This is one of those games where there's just a lot to do. It's not just like the main story. It's also the side things, like the thing that I'm literally doing right now, like just popping balloons. I mean, that's if you care about side missions and all sorts of things like that, which I definitely have a completionist brain to a certain point. Like, I, I mean, I want to, you know, try and pop all the balloons or I want to find all of the little trinkets in certain areas. And come on, you could pet the cats. And there's so many cats all around the world. Look at this cute little Siamese guy. I want a Siamese cat. Why is the music so ominous? Oh, also, I got my hair cut. So my hair was like down to, I mean, my shoulders or a little bit past that. I mean, it was like past my chin. And now it's actually pretty short. Uh, it's I got hat hair now, but uh, it's nice like not having to deal with so much anymore. I mean, if I put it down, I, 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 if I put it like bandages around my forehead, I, maybe I could look like Crollo from Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> it looks looks ridiculous when it's down, but I planned on just like putting it back uh, like this. Like I said, I got hat hair, so it looks awful right now. But yeah, it was time to just get rid of the hair. I've had the long hair for like a year and a half, two years, and I was just... I liked it. I liked having the bun, but I hated taking care of it. Like it, it just took too much time. Now I... I took a shower after the gym today and it was so easy. My hair didn't stay wet for like two hours. Like my hair is pretty much already dry and it, it, it's just, it's so much better. Yeah, that's a look right there. Looking pretty nice. My friend Podgy is messaging me right now about the new JJK chapter and I haven't read it and I need to read it. He's saying that it's becoming crazy like the Shibuya arc. And if you don't know what the Shibuya arc is in JJK, it's easily regarded as the best arc in the series so far. I mean, it might get crazier. Gege Akutami is, is insane. The arc is also just well known as one of the craziest arcs in like manga. Like, I mean, modern manga, especially. I mean, I'm not some like all knower of every single series, but uh, I, I do know crazy good storytelling and writing when when I see him. I'm getting killed by a wolf right now. I don't know. It's hard to describe things like that. Like, it's like telling somebody to watch a good TV show. Whenever somebody tells you to watch a good TV show, you're like, ah, I don't, you know, am I really going to go watch that? Like, it really depends on who the person is that tells you to watch it, right? Like, if this person right here told me to watch it and they threw a rock at me, then I probably wouldn't do it. But yeah, I feel like even if you don't really like reading at all, then you might still like reading manga. Like something that I realized is that, oh, I don't really read a lot of fiction. And then when I started thinking about it, because I was talking to my girlfriend about it, I, I was like, wait, I read a ton of manga. Like I read a ton of fiction. And I don't think reading something that has illustrations like manga is any different from reading a book that's just a you know, a great fiction story. Because regardless, it's fake. It's fiction. We're in such a good place in the world right now when it comes to finding things to enjoy and finding things to love. I mean, this game has got me pretty hooked and it's got a bunch of my friends hooked too. I mean, dude, it almost passed Cyberpunk as the highest played game, single player game at least, uh, in Steam history. Like it got second place. I mean, Cyberpunk, even with its buggy launch, stayed above it. <laughs> for a company or for a developer that doesn't really have experience making a game like this, uh, Avalanche, I believe it is, they really killed it. Like they blew this thing out of the water. It has a little bit of performance issues, some frame drops here and there, but it's gorgeous, clearly. 
and I'm playing on medium, even some things on low, like water reflections and shadows and things like that. But come on, look at this. Like, this is incredible. I know this game had a lot of expectations. I mean, it's the first open world Harry Potter base game, wizarding game. You have big shoes to fill, but they really killed it. And I think more than anybody, I don't really care that much for the story, but the art team, like hats off to them. I wish I could shake every single one of their hands because the model detail, the attention to detail, and just the all the care that seems like it was put into this game does not go unnoticed. Apart from the obvious controversy surrounding this game, uh, it, it really is like something to behold. So yeah, I'm glad I picked it up. And honestly, I just didn't really feel like playing Modern Warfare 2 today. I don't really feel like playing it until Season 2 drops. Maybe I'll grind some ranked play. But yeah, I appreciate you listening to me ramble. And I appreciate you watching me just run around <laughs> casting spells. So take it easy. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.